Hi folks, this is the Adventure Cowboy. The question has been asked, what kind of food do I pack when I'm in the backcountry, whether I'm uh, walking around hunting with a backpack on my back or whether I've got pack horses. And the answer is, in either case, I don't like to pack a cooler. Um, if it's just me and I'm not having to cook for other people, I'm pretty simple. Uh, I've got different kinds of granola bars, ramen noodles, they're super light. Got to have a pot to cook them in, or some way to boil water, enough water. Uh, Idaho and mashed potatoes. These take two cups of water, which conveniently, my little stainless steel cup is two cups in measurement. And brown gravy mix. So if I get tired of the buttery home style, I'll put the gravy mix in with the potatoes before I put the boiling water in. And it tastes actually quite good. Uh, if I do carry anything heavy, it's probably canned stuff like Hormel chili or the Denti Moore beef stew. And that's just for a change. Not sure what's going on with the horses here. Um, uh, carry original beef jerky around or teriyaki is kind of the flavors that I like. It's nice to have the jerky just as a protein and a filler. I do work for a government agency, so I do have access to MREs. These look a little bit goofy because I've taken them apart, taken everything inside of the package that I'm not going to use, I took it out. And then I rewrapped it, taped it up really good with fiber tape, and this one's actually got rubber bands on it too, just to make them as tight as possible so they don't take up very much room in my pack. Uh, this is Mountain House granola with milk and blueberries. Very quick breakfast, just pour a little bit of water in it. and. Uh, really really good this is like a mountain house it's uh, made by Na National Geographic it's uh, live prepared food It's basically the same thing as a mountain house this is chicken alfredo it's actually really good um, I actually prefer the live prepared stuff to the mountain house a lot of times if you can find it uh, well, that's about it containers uh, I carry this beat up pot with me if I'm packing on horseback otherwise um, I just got this stainless steel cup. You can get them in titanium. They're lighter, but this really doesn't weigh much at all, and it was cheaper. This is probably the most important thing I have in my pack, along with a, fire, a way to start fire. Because I can sterilize water in this, or I can melt snow. Uh, you, can only, you can only live three days without water. You can live three weeks out f without food. So having a way to contain and sterilized water is super important to me. That's why this cup is invaluable. It goes in my pack up against my back. I usually put a, a paper towel in it and set my Nalgene bottle inside that. This Nalgene bottle is like my emergency backup water. I put it in my pack and I don't touch it unless I've run out of all my other water. I cook on an MSR pocket rocket stove. It's right here mounted on a tank. There's lots of different brands of this fuel. I just buy the cheap stuff from Walmart. Um, this stove, they're amazing. I actually cook on this more than I cook on a fire because a lot of times I'm in country that, you know, if, if my campfire got away from me, I'd start a huge forest fire. So I'll just cook on one of these and forego the campfire. Well, that was a quick down and dirty of some of the stuff I like to carry. Uh, if you have more questions, please feel free to message me and ask them. This has been the Adventure Cowboy. Catch you next time.